hey everyone I am here with a tidbit tutorial for you today I want to show you how I am making some scalloped bows super cute see the little scallop I love it these this is from an old um, little mat stack from Stampin' Up. This is all Stampin' Up paper. This is from a really old retired um, set of DSP. And this is from some really old DSP. These are all just scrap pieces that I have in like a little Ziploc bag, but like a gallon size Ziploc bag. I throw all my scrap pieces in there because I don't want to throw them away. And I thought, well, some of these pieces are really odd sized. What can I do with them? And this is what I came up with. I love the little airplane one. These little airplane ones, I think, um, would be great for the pocket letters. So then I have some just uh, Bermuda Bay and this is Strawberry Slush. So again, these are just scrap pieces that I have left over. And I have created them using the large scalloped oval and the bow builder punch. So these punches are still currently available so I'm gonna put those aside and I'm gonna show you exactly how I do this now I have a little piece of strawberry slush which is one of the 2013 through 15 in color so it just retired um, this year so you you can't get it anymore but if you have it and you have scraps of it this is great any of the DSP works, any pattern paper you have, even if it's not Stampin' Up! and it does not have to be double sided, this is just a bonus that it is. So you can um, get you know, the whole bow and the scallops out of the one piece that you're working with. Now I like to look at the small chevron print and um, it's kind of, I don't even know what they call it, but it's like an offset little chevron. And I like mine to go this direction. So I'm just going to punch two of them out with the scalloped oval. And just have those. And I'm going to go ahead and just clip this piece off with my scissors. And now I'm going to flip it over to my polka dot side. I'm loving the polka dot ones. So you can use whatever side you want as your actual bow versus what you want for your scallop. So I'm just going to punch two pieces from this for my bow. And I will put the link of... Um, a video that I discovered making bows without the bow builder punch which is kind of how I got this idea to begin with um, was seeing a photo and then I watched the video and it's just not something I wanted to do there was a lot more involved um, I'm just gonna take this middle piece here and line it up in here because I want it to this is the center piece that I'm going to wrap around my bow and I want it to look nice. So, um, and then like this is just a little scrap piece that I can toss and not feel bad about. So here are all the pieces for my bow. And now we just have to assemble and I'm going to just use my glue pen here to attach my tails. And you can spread your tails farther apart if you'd like, if you want more of it to show. As you can see, not a whole lot of the tail shows, so that's kind of personal preference. Okay, so we'll set that aside for now. And now we're going to layer. So I'm just going to put some glue. And you want to use um, a really good glue when you're layering. So you don't want your top piece to pop off. And I'm just going to center this on top of my scalloped piece. 
just like so. Do this one. I tried this with uh, using ATG tape and it doesn't stick very well so I started using my glue pen for this piece and it's working perfectly. So you could use Tombow for this which I will be using to for the finished assembly part I use Tombow glue so okay so there's my two actual bow pieces and over here where you guys can see so I just take my bone folder and just kind of give it a little curl so it doesn't crack when I'm actually folding it together. So just kind of loosens up the, the paper. Then I'm going to take some glue dots and start assembling. So I'm just going to fold this and press my ends together. So there I have one piece. And two pieces. And when you're using a small pattern in the background, you want to make sure that they go the same direction if you want them to and I want them to so that's what I always look for so just kinda you know flip flop your pieces then we're gonna go ahead and attach them to the little tail piece here flip it over and attach the other one Oops. make sure it's going the right way I'll just kind of press those down. So the final piece is going to be the little piece that wraps around the center of your bow. I'm going to take one end of it and use a glue dot. So I'm just going to place it, flip it over, kind of center it, wrap the piece over with my glue dot. Then I'm going to take some Tombow and I'm going to put a little dot of Tombow on here. And then that piece I'm going to wrap over. And I tried attaching this last piece here on the middle one with a glue dot and it keeps popping up. So I pulled the Tombow out. So then you're going to take your little bow pieces and I like to push them together as far as they'll go push them together so the middle's real tight <clears throat> and then I just hold down with my finger and just kind of keep them pushed together for a second and this kind of gives you a little bit of wiggle room so you can um, make sure your bow looks even on your little tails there so there we have a little scalloped bow from the strawberry slush so I actually I've been punching like crazy just all my scraps so I just keep putting them um, together and then paper clipping them so then I can just assemble them later so I've got all of my colors here I've got some of the old this Christmas paper is like two years old um, this is from another really old retired DSP and then I have some of the current colors but retired DSP this is the the DSP that just went out so we do actually have new pads but um, like I said I've got a lot of scraps so I'm just punching and paper clipping so I can just make bows and use them for projects, um, put them on cards, 
put them on, you know, little packages or whatever, you know. So that's my little tidbit tutorial. And like I said, I'm going to put a link in the description of um, a woman who shows how to make bows using the scalloped oval punch and the large oval punch if you do not have a bow builder punch. I just prefer using the bow builder because I have it and I think it looks more finished to me but I will put the link in the description for you so you guys can check that out just in case you don't have the bow builder. There is a way to still make scalloped bows. So I hope you guys like this and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!